It happened again. The ground shook. Ash filled the air, and fiery lava poured down the side of the mountain. But did you see it? A brand new island was born. Hi, welcome to Kids Step by Step, where science is cool, fun, and exciting. Do you want to join us? Let us jump into a volcano adventure and discover how these fiery mountains work and why lava is so cool. We know that volcanoes are hot. They explode and they're kind of scary. But let's start at the very beginning. What makes a volcano erupt? Deep under our feet, the Earth is super hot. Hot enough to melt rock into a thick, gooey liquid called magma. Imagine the Earth like a giant orange. We live on the peel, but inside it's all hot and squishy. When the magma builds up pressure, it pushes its way up through cracks in the Earth's crust. It's like shaking a soda can. Eventually, it has to burst out. When it does, the magma escapes as lava and we get a volcanic eruption. Most volcanoes are found in a special area called the Ring of Fire, which circles the Pacific Ocean. That's where 75% of Earth's active volcanoes live. Here's a fun science secret. Magma and lava are actually the same thing. Magma is what we call the melted rock when it's underground. Once it erupts onto the surface, it's lava. Now let's talk about lava. Wow! It can be 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 20 times hotter than your oven at home. At first, it might seem slow like thick honey. Then suddenly, it shoots out fast like a fountain. The fastest lava ever moved was 40 miles per hour, faster than a car in your neighborhood. Volcanoes come in all shapes and sizes. Let's meet the volcano family. Shield volcanoes are wide and flat, like a warrior's shield. Hawaii's volcanoes are shield volcanoes and they make beautiful islands. Straddle volcanoes are the tall, cone-shaped ones like Mount Fuji in Japan. Cinder cone volcanoes are small but super explosive like Earth's firecrackers. And guess what? The biggest volcano in our solar system isn't even on Earth. It's Olympus Mons on Mars three times taller than Mount Everest. Now let's look at what happens when volcanoes erupt. First comes the exciting part, the eruption. Hot lava pours out of the top and sometimes the sides of the volcano. As it flows down the mountain, it's like a river of fire. When the lava hits the air, it makes a loud roaring sound. Hot gases and ash also come out during an eruption. Ash is made of tiny pieces of rock and can travel high into the atmosphere. Sometimes ash falls back down around the volcano, covering the ground in a layer of dust. During an eruption, rocks and hot lava can slide down the sides of the volcano. These fast-moving mixtures are called lahars. They can cause big damage. But here's something you might not know. Volcanoes aren't just scary, they're helpful. Let's talk about how. Volcanoes make new land. The Hawaiian Islands were all built by volcanoes. Their ash makes soil super rich, perfect for growing plants and food. They help cool down the inside of our planet by letting heat escape. Volcanic ash can create stunning sunsets and add important minerals to the Earth. So volcanoes help plants, animals, and even humans. How do scientists keep us safe? Scientists who study volcanoes are called volcanologists. They use special tools to measure earthquakes, gases, and even the shape of volcanoes to predict eruptions. If you live near a volcano, there are safety plans and warning systems in place. Most eruptions give lots of warning signs like small earthquakes or steam, so people have time to get to safety. Let's do a quick recap. 
Magma underground becomes lava when it erupts. There are three main types of volcanoes. Volcanoes help make land and grow plants. Scientists keep us safe by watching volcanoes closely. The biggest volcano is on Mars, not Earth. Isn't our planet amazing? If you want more awesome science adventures, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you never miss a new video. Next time we'll explore earthquakes and how they shake our world. Until then, keep exploring and stay curious.